This is the problem we made for the natural quantity of Boston class, it's basically a question and answer system. It will take the user question, transfer it into a database language query, execute that query, and get the result from there. So let's start by typing our name. So if we typed in help, we can see an example of what the system actually could handle since it's a specific uh, question answering system to a specific database. It's, it's kind of work in closed domain where it's only handle uh, those questions that's related to that database. So we can ask the system for the average salary and we could ask the system if the average salary in a specific department. Uh, we could also use the max and many, which actually can transfer it to max and count in the SQL language. So let's let's just start and try the what to the average salary question and see the results in there. So now. We have the question, what's the average salary? And the chatbot answer that, okay, so let me think. Okay, so it has the SQL uh, language query and it actually had the average in here. And then those actually being dealt with separately. So the system actually gonna use the select average based on the average keyword. And then it will actually go and know that you're actually asking for the salary from the salary keyword. And also gonna know that you're actually looking for sal in, looking for salary inside salary database, and this keyword actually gonna link to both of these in here, and then to actually gonna go and get the results for you. So let's try in a much kind of interesting question. Well, let's first go and see if we actually could break the system by use a different keyword in here. So. If we typed in what are, which is really a wrong way to ask, the APG salary. So the system still knows it's the same question. So it actually handled the APG, it handled the, the average, and also. We have the R in here, which is really kind of not the correct way to ask, uh, not the correct way to form the sentence and ask the question. But actually, since we actually take out stop words, these won't matter. So whenever whatever the user ask, even if you ask ask, let's say, which or how, all these gonna map into select. So. Let's go and try the second example we have in here for what's the average sorry, specific department. And we get a much more kind of condensed example. So we still have the average and then from salary and also since we're actually looking into the department, we're actually gonna get in two table. So from these two table, and from salary, we actually have to connect them using foreign and primary key. So we have that we're actually looking for department development, and then we have to do all the linkage between the different tables, so we'll actually have the correct result. And here we have the average. That's the result of the average from all these from the development department. So if we actually got try in, let's quickly try in the max and see how it's actually gonna be transferred to a SQL language. So it's actually use salary order by descended limit by one from salary. So that actually uses a bit of different strategy. In the beginning, I actually was trying to do the max salary from salaries. So I'll just have the max um, aggregation function call 
that you my SQL uses, but it wasn't kind of giving me the correct output. So I had to go and change the grammar to actually use it. So I'll have order by salary descended limit by one, so that's actually gonna give me the maximum salary. And what if I actually gonna go and instead of using the max, I'll use the min. So now I have it ordered by ascending and it's also limited by one, so this is the, the minimum salary uh, we got in here. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I kind of ran in a few uh, difficulty during this kind of process. Uh, the database linkage between foreign and primary key was kind of a bit of hassle since every the first thing I was actually trying to do is actually make it that general to any database. But when I actually get into the grammar, I had to build in a specific grammar for the database to be able to link between different databases based on the question and kind of understand the question if it's, let's say if it's development, if the user actually asks for development department and asks for salary, like we had the example in here. We actually, all this text in here has to be included for the keyword development. So you actually have to know that tech, the department the user asks is development. And then also we need to know the linkage between all these departments, which actually these are hand coded into the parse grammar. So that actually kind of made it a bit of challenge to have it generalized to any database. In a specific database, we could use the database, see the use cases, and based on these, we can go ahead and build our grammar. Thank you very much, and hope you guys like it. Thank you.